A moving car has energy that takes you where you need to go. Let's see how energy is transformed inside a car to make your ride happen. Gasoline in a car's engine stores chemical energy. Turning the key in the ignition sets off a chemical reaction. The gasoline begins to burn. This reaction transforms chemical energy into mechanical energy and heat. Cars also use energy from a battery. The battery stores chemical energy that transforms into electrical energy. Electrical energy creates a spark that makes the gasoline burn. Every time the driver presses the gas pedal, more fuel burns. That produces more mechanical energy that moves the car. Another way of describing this mechanical energy is kinetic energy, or energy of motion. Meanwhile, other smaller transformations are happening inside the car. Electrical energy transforms into sound energy in your car stereo. Electrical energy becomes mechanical energy as the wipers clean the windshield, or as you roll your window up or down. It also transforms into light energy when you turn on the headlights. What happens to the kinetic energy when the driver stops the car? Pressing the brake pedal transfers mechanical energy to the car's brakes. The brake pads press on the wheels, which transforms the car's kinetic energy into heat and sound energy. What type of energy is present after the car stops? Most likely, the engine is still giving off some heat energy, and the gasoline in the tank holds potential energy, which gives you the potential for another trip in the car. scientists, let's take a moment to talk about energy. Energy is just the ability to do work. Energy comes in several different forms, but let's focus on five different forms today. Mechanical, electrical, light, thermal, and sound. An easy way to remember these five forms of energy is with the acronym MELTS. Let's take a closer look at each form. Mechanical energy is the energy of motion. This is the form of energy you'll see when a hammer hits a nail or when a wrecking ball hits a building, or if you run down the sidewalk really fast. Electrical energy is probably the one you think of most when you think of the word energy. This form of energy happens when charged particles move in a current. You use electrical energy a lot. It turns on your TV, it charges your cell phone, even when you turn on your electric oven or microwave. Light energy is the only form of energy that we can see. Light is a form of energy that moves in waves and allows us to see different things. This is also the form of energy when the sun's light waves shine down on a plant or when a fireworks show lights up the night sky. Thermal energy is the energy of heat. The most basic example of thermal energy is a fire, but you can find thermal energy anywhere there's heat. Sound energy moves in waves and vibrates your eardrums and allows you to hear. You can listen to music on your earbuds, you can listen to me talk, you can hear your dog bark, or you can hear the sound of a pin tapping on a desk. Most of the time you experience more than one kind of energy occurring at one time. Let's look at our hammer. Using a hammer to hit a nail is definitely mechanical energy, but that loud ping when the hammer hits the metal is also an example of sound energy. When you turn on your TV, it takes electrical energy, but it produces light energy that you can see. Let's take a moment to pause and look at some questions. Oh, I don't have energy to work. I don't have ability to work. I'm tired. Yes, you're right. Energy is ability to work. Energy is ability to do some work. Do cars also use energy? Yes, they use petrol or gas as energy. So, petrol or gas has energy which make things to move. All things require energy to move. So we can store energy? Yes, energy can be stored, like in the petrol tank of a car. Ah, ah, all things need energy to move. Energy can be stored. 
Oh, I used so much force and energy, but very less work was done. Yes, Jimmy, you applied a lot of force and you used so much of your muscular energy, but you could only move few things. Hence, less work was done. Now we would see different types of energy. Oh, this bulb is giving so much of light. Yeah, it works on electric energy. Ah, ah, electrical energy? Hey, this fire is giving so much of heat. This is called heat energy. Ah, ah, heat energy? Okay, tell me, what energy is this? You're doing work with your muscular energy. Ah, ah, muscular energy? Oh, it is so hot here. You know where heat is coming from? Yeah, I know. It is all coming from the sun. Yes, you're right. Energy which comes from the sun is called solar energy. Ah, ah, solar energy. You know, this bulb in night does not need electricity. You see that panel? Yes. It stores solar energy during the day from sun and at night it gives that energy to the bulb. Oh, so this bulb works on solar energy. Let me show you something. Hey, water has so much force. Oh, this is energy of water which moves things. Hmm, this is called water energy. Yeah, this is called hydro energy because water is also called hydro. Ah, ah, hydro energy. Oh, these are big fans. These are called windmills. They produce electricity. Hey, listen, wind helps in electricity also. This is called wind energy. Ah, ah, wind energy. Hey, listen, it's getting so windy. Let's go home. <laughs>